Okay. Well, today is the day. Plain in the pine, ponderosa pine. Some people call it, when the uh, insects get in it, they call it blue denim, I think. Some of it has a little bit on it, like the side here. Some doesn't. This is from the pine beetle. They secrete a enzyme into the uh, tree before they start uh, eating on it and it causes the wood to do this. So it'll have a little bit of color going in. It looks a lot like mildew, but it's not. It's going to be pretty. Hey everybody! <laughs> Camper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing today? Just call me Grimace. Big guy turning purple. Dropped my paintbrush and caught it before it hit the ground. Got some purple on me. Today's the big day here at the tiny cabin. Let me show you what we're doing. Getting the top insulated. We already got the walls done. But uh, my buddy's down at the shop. We got a hired man with us. It's uh, helping the plane. I'm up here painting. You can hear the hear the planer from here. So they're getting these boards ready to put in the ceiling. I'm getting the purple done. There's actually three people down there. My buddy, his wife, and our hired guy. And uh, they don't need me. But uh, this rain keeps coming in, messing me up. Show you what is going on. I've added a trim board at the bottom of the uh, tiny house. And I'm not worried that I got purple on it at all. Uh, I'm going to roll it. But uh, the seams where the board goes up against the T111 had the holes in it, and letting water down through it. Even where I had it good and tight, it was letting water. So I've caulked it. And uh, you can see right here. It just, something didn't look right, something wasn't finished about the building. I believe if this rain will hold off, I'll have the three sides done. It's just, I feel like I'm stuck in molasses and quicksand trying to work, getting anything done with the rain. And uh, got the porch primed. I bet I've used five tubes of caulk and I need another one. So the harvest gold is turning to purple underneath the porch. The G is off and getting it done. And we'll sand down this porch. So the weather would just cooperate. I can probably get this done today. But let's walk down to my friend's shop and uh, I want to show you my ponderosa pine.
Well, the paint is drying and a lot of the wood's been planed, but it's time for lunch. My friend here used to own a restaurant. His specialty was burgers and fries and steak. So he's grilling us out some hamburgers on the gas grill. A little cheddar cheese. And just a touch of smoke. Oh yeah. So we got Cheetos, buns, dill pickles, ketchup, onions. I'll tell you what, uh, this is my jar I brought down here from, from home. And I can't find this anywhere around here. I gotta order me some. It's the jalapenos. I'm gonna use the jalapenos up, put my onions in it. But uh yeah, I think I know where I can get some online. I just hadn't done it. And we use Duke's mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And I've been on an instant tea kick for the last little bit too. This stuff is good, good, good. American cheese. Cheddar. There we go. Cheeseburgers and Cheetos. With a happy face on the ketchup. Why? Because I like happy faces. That's why. Now that was a good burger. Come back up here to look at my paint. See how it's dried before this rain comes. And that's got a good seal on it. Won't let water in behind the board. Won't rot. Fortunately, I only had to paint the bottom and it matched the well. I don't have to repaint the whole siding. Man, are you ever going to get done? Yeah, I'm, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of you working on the house. Little bit by little bit, I'll get it. I see you got paint on you, don't you, Tucker? Well, he's sat in my lap. He's right up under me the whole time I'm painting. And he tries to get in my lap while I'm painting. Got a little purple. Oh, that's that's nice, Tuck. Got a little purple on the right-hand side. A little white. I don't want you to see it. <laughs> I got a purple and white dog. That's right, man. I'm a trendsetter. Come on, just hold off a little bit more. The last of the harvest gold is up here. Be glad to see it gone. A good trick, so you don't have to wash your paintbrush out when you take a break. Wrap it up real tight in a plastic bag. Yeah, you don't want to get in on your dog. That's right. Wrap it up tight in a plastic bag. Keeps the paint wet, it won't dry, don't have to clean it. An hour later, I'm back painting again. Now I know how you got the purple on you, Tuck. Yeah, I kind of rubbed up against the front porch wall. I'd say you did. Getting the purple up here. I've got this seam sealed as well. Don't want any moisture behind it. I think I hear my ceiling boards coming. Bye. Come on, Martini. There's my ceiling. Yeah, 
Char Charlie always gets to ride. That ain't fair. There's the first board on the inside. Got an air nailer here. Getting it done. Okay, take a look at this uh, wood we just cut right here. That's some heart of pine, some fat wood. Isn't that pretty? As you can see, that blue goes into the wood here down into the grain we just cut this so it's not mildew mildew wouldn't get in like that so you're gonna have four thousand people tell you it is We have uh, half the ceiling done up here. Let me show it to you. My friends are taking the tractor back down to the shop. We're gonna plane some more boards. Got a good mess going on. You know, sometimes you gotta crack some eggs to make an omelet. Y'all ready? It sure is pretty. Look at there. Looky, looky, looky. Yeah, I've got gaps and stuff, just a little bit. But I wanted it rustic. It's like a cottage on the outside and a cabin on the inside. Isn't that nice? here and there it's gonna be pretty all right well my friends and the hired helps down there planning uh planning 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 i want to get back to painting but uh yep just a little uh update video hope you enjoyed it but i'm gonna end it where right here i appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we'll see you again soon Let's take care. Bye-bye. feeder back up and we have some of the meanest hummingbirds here good gracious as soon as I turn on the camera they go away no 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 how did I spot him what you get I see him I see him in real life but now I don't see him on camera there he is there he is you got a big uh, bill there, Mr. Hummingbird. One part sugar to four parts water. He's got a bee. Any pretty y'all? But uh, well, they fight early in the morning, right on up till dark. He's thirsty, isn't he?